Hello, beautiful friends and book lovers. I hope that you are all doing well. If you are new to my channel, my name is Heather and this is my channel, Heather's Book Review, where I mainly read and review thrillers with the occasional suspenseful drama or super hyped up fiction novel. So today I am going to be reviewing Tear Me Apart by J.T. Ellison. This is definitely um, a suspenseful drama. Like that's what I would categorize this book, almost like if I'm categorizing it as a movie, right? It's suspenseful and it's dramatic and I can definitely see this being made into a movie. So this is a 2018 copyright. Um, I saw a lot of people reading this on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's just at Heather's Book Review. So I'll leave that little handle down here for, for you for a little bit. If you'd like to follow me on there, um, that's how I find out honestly about so many books. And I saw this and I got this on Amazon for like five bucks. Um, I did buy this in May when I'm filming this now, it is end of July. Um, but I checked for you guys before filming and it is still around five, it's like $5 and 10 cents. So I'll put that Amazon link in the description below if you're interested after listening to my non-spoiler review on this book. Um, it's definitely a super good read. So this story centers around our main character whose name is Mindy Wright. She is a 17 year old Olympic skier. She's amazing. And she's trying out for the USA Olympic team. So I shouldn't, I shouldn't say she is an Olympic skier. She's so good that she's literally like almost has a slot on that team. So she's at the finals where she's pretty much gonna hear yes or no, you're on our team. And she has a terrible fall injury breaks her leg, gets rushed to the hospital um, where they're doing all this blood work on her and they find out that she also has a very rare form of leukemia. As if she doesn't have enough going on, right? Like she just lost her place in the US Olympics. She broke her leg, you know, she has her whole life ahead of her and this was her, you know, chance to really get what she's been working at her whole life. She finds out she has leukemia and to top it all off as they're doing the blood work on um, her and her her parents, uh, Lauren and Jasper, they find out that not only are they not a match for Mindy, um, they're not even her parents. When you find this out, you're like, who are her real parents? Who are Jasper and Lauren? If they're not Mindy's real parents, how did they get Mindy? Did they adopt her? Why didn't they tell her? She's almost 18. Like all of these questions are running through your mind as um, you're reading it. So then it starts to get really strange. Um, when Mindy comes home from the hospital, she finds these letters and they are always signed sincerely V or sincerely L. And keep in mind, her mother's name is Lauren. And she's like, why would my mom have these letters? And the letters are, um, I don't wanna give too much away because this is the non-spoiler part, but the letters are definitely written um, between two younger women who are dealing with um, depression issues, very much so. Um, there's a lot of talk of suicide in this book and depression and um, some very heavy topics. So I do wanna go ahead and just give that little disclaimer. Um, but yeah, you guys, you are in for a ride once you start reading this book. So all in all, you're like, who are these women? Why does Mindy's mom have these letters? What is their connection to each other? And yeah, I mean, I definitely was just glued to the book because I had to find out like what in the world was going on. So yes, just a little disclaimer, this book is very heavy when it comes to um, suicide, suicidal thoughts, depression, um, uh, you know, anxieties related to depression. And at the end of this book, it's not a spoiler, don't worry. The author does put um, like some helpline numbers and contact if you know someone that's struggling um, with similar issues that are mentioned in this book. So I actually really appreciated that about the author. Um, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I think it's always important that if you're gonna choose to write about a book that uh, oh my gosh, sorry guys, this is like my third video that I'm filming today and I think my voice is like, you need to stop talking. Okay, what was I saying? <laughs> um, yeah, I just appreciate when an author chooses to provide um, resources and information about the topic that they chose to write about. Um, I think that's amazing and I really appreciated that JT Ellison included that at the end of her book because this book centers 
um, on a lot of those topics for sure. So now I'm gonna tell you what I rated the book and then go into my stars and wishes or likes and dislikes for the book. So I am going to rate this a three out of five on Goodreads and for my personal rating, I am going to give it a seven out of 10 and now I will explain my reasoning for that. So I have to say that this book is set up um, with a very predictable pattern. It's almost like you know what's going on in the book. Like the author is giving you a little bit of the information and then you're watching it unfold in front of you. Hence why I said that this would make a really good movie because I feel like a lot of like the dramatic suspenseful movies that I watch usually do that. Like you know what's going on um, and you're just kind of waiting to see how it all pans out. That being said, there weren't really a lot of twists for me and I personally like to choose my books based on um, if there are a lot of twists hence why I like thrillers, especially psychological thrillers. Um, although this is a suspense, so don't go into it thinking that there are gonna be a whole lot of twists and turns. There are a, like a little towards the end, um, one of them that I didn't even see coming. Um, so I definitely appreciated that. If you've been here a while and watching my reviews, this is gonna be no new news for you. But if you are new, I tend to not gravitate towards long books. This book is almost 500 pages. Um, and I like to pick books that are like 400 or other, even 400 is like a little high for me. <laughs> um, so my only other like wish for this book is I, I wish it could have been just trimmed down a little bit. I did feel like there was a lot of filler um, where I was like, okay, like, I just want to see what's going on. Let's go. And it did take me a little bit to get through this because I do get a little discouraged once I'm like, oh, I've already been reading this for a week. Like, come on, you know, I just want to get onto my next book already. But if that's not something that bothers you, then this will be such a good ride for you. So if you're new to my channel, I always do a non-spoiler review and then tell you my ratings like I just did. And then I go into the book chat portion of the book for those who have read. So going forward in this video, it will contain spoilers because I'm going to chat with those who have read about what I thought about the ending and whatnot. So if you're new to my channel, I would love if you could subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new review or book, re book related video. Oh my goodness, I must be talking too fast. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the book chat. Okay, you guys, so I feel like this is rare for me, but I don't really have a whole lot that I'm like yearning to chat about this book. Um, I am happy that Mindy's Aunt Juliet and her real dad, Zach, ended up together. Um, it was actually funny, the minute that Zach and his dog, I'm blanking on her name, saw Juliet like get out of the car or whatever, um, I had a feeling I was like, they're going to end up together. And so that was really cute that they did end up together. I think that, you know, they'd be a cute couple and I can definitely um, see them together for sure. And that's like really pretty much it. I mean, Lauren being in jail, she definitely got, you know, what was coming for her. I think that as a reader, we were supposed to assume that obviously Lauren has a lot more issues that just were never really she never really dealt with. She obviously was still struggling if she's gonna try to attempt to kill her sister and ha killed Vivian so she could get, you know, Mindy. She obviously has a lot of issues and um, she just like suppressed them, it seems, and wanted to live this perfect life because her childhood was not so perfect. And, um, but yeah, you just can't go about life doing those things. So when she was watching Mindy, um, you know, compete when she was in prison, I was like, you know what? You got what's coming to you. You're like, you're not a good person. And that's about all I have for Tear Me Apart by JT Ellison. I hope you guys enjoyed this book review. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope to chat with you in the comments below and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye you guys.